Yo, welcome to the vlog. Yo, I don't know who I am right now. I haven't been this clean shaven in a minute. We're gonna be doing some filming and fitness culture today. A bunch of uh, basically exercise demos where we explain all of different exercises in the fitness culture program. So it's gonna be a long day. Boom, we'll be throwing on the new fitness culture tank top. We'll show that to you guys in a minute. All right, trying the new flavor today. Look at that one, cherry limeade. I'm gonna just half scoop that, put it over some ice. Get ready to film. Let's go. Ooh, that's good. Little cherry limeade. Hey, uh, hey, Hobbs. You wanna get? You wanna come over here? Come on. Let's get your bed. You can come hang out with the boys. Come, come hang out with the boys, dude. In your bed. Such a different dog in the gym than he is at the dog park. At the dog park, you are a hellion. Staying super hydrated. Tropic Thunder and the new one down here. So just had this one, loved it. Already drank a whole thing of that. Another round. Round's on me, guys. Just trying to set up this so we can film some things. You guys might be asking, Steve, why aren't you helping? Well, I would just probably mess it up and then I'd hurt my back, so. It shouldn't come off. What's, huh? It's not coming off at all? Not off before. It's like stuck. Yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh. The reason we did it is so we could film a pull-up rather than having to move the camera over there. We want to set everything up here. Yo, we've been working up an appetite, so we ordered Chipotle like 40 minutes ago. I haven't had Chipotle in a good four months. Middle of filming, we've been working up an appetite. Two hours of just doing different exercises. Where the hell is the Chipotle? Stephanie is here with our food. Stephanie, bring it on back. Is Stephanie not here? Who? Ste the girl who said she's gonna deliver our Chipotle. She's not, she's not here. Chipotle. Y'all gotta get better drivers. That dude ate half of the food. So I'm going in, I'm taking this in. I'm showing them right now. Ran back to Chipotle, showed them the bag, showed them the food, told them what happened, and they were amazing. Chipotle, thank you so much. Got all of the food from Chipotle that I bought. Gonna take it back to the guys for working so hard on the shoot. Gonna eat that and then I got a golf lesson. I'm gonna go hit a driver 100 and I'm gonna probably have a club head speed of damn near 120 today just because I'm feeling frustrated. Oh my gosh, I love Chipotle. Chipotle is my life. I am happy now. Just rolled up to the golf course here, protein shake in hand, and then also BCAs in hand. Got my golf club set here. Ah. Jaws wedges. Gonna meet a golf coach who played a little bit on the PGA. Barry, what's his name? Barry owns Golf Logic here in town. Hopefully he can get me under an 80. Hopefully he can get me just shooting in the 80s consistently, but I wanna shoot in the 70s. I wanna run before I crawl. We got Coach Barry here from, from Golf Logic playing. Uh, have you played these yet? The Callaway x You've always nice. got the new stuff. They're nice. Gorgeous. I can't hit them, but they're nice. <laughs> All right. Home from golf. Um, right now, I'm making dinner. These bad boys, if you guys live in the States, um, it's basically comes with a seasoned chicken, and then there comes like a packet of like sauce. So this one's the Korean barbecue with the sauce and the chicken, and I don't even use all this all the sauce. I'm not gonna lie, I eat out once, at least once a day, sometimes twice a day. So doing these home cooked meals, it's nice, but cooking for one person just kind of sucks. And I was gonna go back to the gym tonight, but I'm gonna tell you why I'm not here in a second. All right, sitting down, got the meal going. Chicken, Korean barbecue chicken and rice. The reason I am not going to the gym tonight, my whoop data. So we spent about, we spent, 
about two and a half hours filming exercise database videos. Now, when you think about it, yeah, I'm not using a ton of weight, not going to failure, but there's a lot of just burning of calories when you're moving for that long. My strain right now, if you guys can see, you know what, I'm just gonna screen record this. My strain right now is up over 15. My recovery score right now is only 52. Why? I haven't been sleeping well. You see how it's in that yellow number? That yellow number is important because my recovery needs to be in the green. So you're currently overreaching. This amount of strain promotes fitness gains, but may require ample rest to fully recover. So that's basically saying I'm not fully recovered. So I'm gonna go ahead and tonight, I'm going to do some stretching, do some meditation. My HRV right now is 32, not great. My, hesting, my resting heart rate 64, indicating your body is recovered and ready for strain. So it's normal, but it's not great. So tonight it's saying, I need nine hours of sleep. My sleep performance is at a 71%. The reason I need that need tonight is because I've been at a, I've been sleep deprived for the last little bit. I rarely sleep more than six, six and a half hours. Um, so getting at least 70% of your needed sleep may be just enough to allow you to recover. Combine this with, with consistent bed and wake times for optimal sleep. That is my problem. After uh, going out golfing today, I realized I have everything I need to get good at golf right here. We're gonna set this up and do some practice. All right guys, out here at Bloomington Golf Course. Today, I'm putting all of my golf skill set that I've been getting better at and practicing and putting holes in my wall at home against my brother-in-law TJ, whom I've never beat. We have a bet that today's gonna be that day, so we're gonna see how it goes. I got my Callaways that I'm playing with today. Um, I play with Callaway, some some irons that they sent me. So they're actually blades, and they've been kicking my butt. Hopefully, we'll hit them better today. And we are off running. I pulled my first one. Like I said, I've been working on that slice. To fix that, I kind of hooked it. So. Par five, I'm gonna have uh, some opportunity to make up for it. All right, so after my second shot went into the water, I now dropped and I'm hitting 114 out. So I think I'm gonna take a uh, soft pitching wedge because I wanna be, I've got a lot of green behind. I don't have very much green in front, so I wanna try to carry that green. Ooh. TJ, did you see it? Eight, eight on the first damn hole. You gotta be kidding me. All right, TJ took down that first hole. Some ugly damn golf, I'm not gonna lie. A triple, a triple bogey. First hole, way to start it out. All right, gotta have a short memory in golf. On to the second hole. Oh, beauty. Oh my gosh, in the water. I have my opportunity now. TJ went into the water. If I can uh, just not go into the water, get it on the green, we're gonna be in business. Hold it, come back, come back for me. Let's go get uh, up and down for par. TJ dropped his second, he's hitting his third. I just gotta get out of the sand and get on. That's a good shot. Pull it out, oh. Ooh. Almost went in, but then rolled uh, 10 yards past now. I almost forgot. You gotta rake, rake your bunker. Golf etiquette. I never had any. All right. To win this hole, like a two putt, get a four. TJ got a double after that water shot, so just gotta not leave it short. Get there. Gets it. All right, we're all even. Even. Back, back to even. All right, par four, hole number three here, out here at Bloomington. It's a par four, 310 yard. We're gonna tee it up from this side, and I'm actually just gonna to try to draw it. See if I can do that. Yeah, buddy, get there. Best drive I've had in a minute. I took up golf when Morgan moved to Australia when she had to go back for COVID. 
went out to Callaway, got fitted for some clubs, the Maverick Pros, and then they also sent me these X-Forge CB irons. I got my Maverick driver and my Maverick 3, 3 wood, and things have been working. Things have been working. Like, I've, I've been pretty happy with how everything's going. Um, you know, got my 52 in hand, and I'm just gonna try to punch it a little bit. Go put it in for birdie. And I'm the king of leaving things short. Par. Already won the hole, but we gotta see what kind of strokes we're at here. Jesus. Six. Turn the downward slope right about 280, 290, and if you can hit that, you can run it to 340, 350. Don't want to do that. Not bad. It's gonna be short, but I'll take it. TJ, because he had to, he went OB and dropped. He is now hitting his fourth shot. I'm hitting my third shot. All right, push, toll. Gosh, that was a miserable putt. Oh, no, no, no. I'm 99% sure, unless it bounced off the house and came back in, my first one's OB. TJ's hitting his second, I'm hitting my sixth. I hit two out of bounds. I quit, I quit. God damn it. After five, we are all even. That was a blow up for me. This shot that I'm about to hit scares the shit out of me. No! Where am I at? You see me? I'm hitting three now. So par four. Need to get on. I need to get up and down for birdie. What about that? Tell me what to do. Woo! Oh! Stop, stop! You f***ing kidding me! It would have been even worse if Paul hadn't been so quick on the profanity buzzer. <laughs> well done, Paul. You're back on the payroll. <laughs> All right, I don't drink very often, but this round of golf is really me off. You play golf, you play, you think you're getting better, and all of a sudden, you know, you have some great holes, some birdie opportunities, you hit a drive that's, you know, 315 right at the pin, and then you freaking five, six, seven, like, my shots just go, I, I can't pitch the ball with a damn. So, you know what? Saying the hell with it. Getting a tall boy, a little Coors Light. I'm down one, and uh, we got a par three over the water. I'm gonna be hitting a seven iron, it's about 170. Um, we'll see how it goes. There you go. Ah, things are already looking up. The mountains were blue. The mountains were blue and uh, we went onto the green. I got about a, uh, I'd say about 20, about, uh, about 30 feet. I got a putt, just two putted. That's all we gotta do. Cheers. Can you come back for me at all? And I bogeyed it. Wow, why, why did I bogey it? Well, because I one, two, three put it, that's why. Every time on this hole, man. All right, guys, we're now back to even on holes. This is a little dog leg right. It's got a lot of water in play, so I need to stay left. There you go, nice shot, perfect. We'll take it. I need this hole. Uh, right now, we're both even. Uh, TJ just hit his second. Chunked it a little bit, but I'll, I'm putting, I'm putting, which is good. Come back. Gotta come back to the hole. Oh, didn't break. See, nothing's breaking today. And he saves me. Yeah, there are. Oh my 
Poll number nine. We are even. This will decide who wins today. Oh shit, the wall. Okay, well, I went into the water, unfortunately. I'm about 136 out. Got a decent little breeze blowing left to right. Um, need a good shot, need to get on the green here. Ooh. Oh my god. TJ's second shot went into the rocks. So I gotta get up and down. Basically, I gotta get up and down in one putt if I'm gonna have a shot at this. And uh, TJ's gonna need to get on and then two putt. So we'll see how it goes. Probably ill advised, but I have a nine iron here and I'm just gonna try to bump and run it. But we got a little uphill, so probably a bad call right now. Not great, not great. So if I want any uh, any opportunity on this hole, I'm gonna have to basically hold this. Oh, oh. Gave it an effort. Well, that's good. that's good. My putting was awful. My chipping was even worse. My driving was 50-50. Irons, I would say, is the best part of the game today, and it wasn't great. So. Um, lost today per usual but we're getting better at golf on some holes so anyhow thanks for guys thanks for watching if you have any tips keep them to yourself i don't want to hear it but i appreciate you guys <laughs>